Hi, my name is Dan Music. Since 1982, DDM Garage Doors has been selling parts to homeowners and maintenance men to repair their own garage doors. In 1997, we posted our parts on the internet, and since then we've been selling garage door parts to homeowners as well as to maintenance men and different people who need to fix their garage doors. Today, we're going to show you how to measure garage door torsion springs. Before measuring springs, we need to first set up a safe environment. First thing you do is unplug the power to the operator. You don't want somebody coming home and pushing the button and the door all of a sudden rising and possibly injuring you. Second thing you want to do is you always want to wear safety glasses. The third point of safety is to disengage the door. To disengage the operator from the door, pull on the brush and pull through the inside of the garage. On Chamberlain, Liftmaster, and Sears openers, this will usually keep it disengaged. So to begin, set your ladder in place just under the spring. Make sure the ladder is firm, and then climb up to the ladder to measure the spring. Mm -hmm. Garage door torsion springs have four characteristics. You have the total length of the spring, the inside diameter of the coils, the actual wire size, the thickness of the wire, and the wind. This spring is a left wind spring. The spring on the other side is a right wind spring. To measure the spring, First, measure the length. Measure the first broken piece. This comes to seven and a half inches. Pinch the seven and a half inch mark and bring it over to the next coil. Then continue measuring to the other end of the spring. This spring is 29 and a quarter inches long. Record that on a piece of paper. 29 and one quarter inches Long. Next, determine the wire size. We do this by measuring 10 and 20 coils. The 10 coil measurement here is two and a quarter inches. The 20 coil measurement is four and a half inches. If you look on our chart on the internet, you'll see that this wire is 225 thousandths of an inch thick. And when you divide by 20, when you divide by 10, you come up with those numbers. Next, determine the inside diameter. In order to determine the inside diameter, it's best not to measure it. Coils shrink, expand, do a lot of different things. But you want to look at the, the cones. If you look at these cones here, we see a 175 on both of these cones. Also on the winding cone, usually on one part of the cone, you'll see, a, see the 175 also. If you have two inch springs, you may see a 2.0, 200, 2000. That'll tell you that it's a two inch spring. On two and a quarter inch springs, since the only manufacturer who makes the two and a quarter inch ID springs is Rayner, You'll usually see Rayner's name on the cone, on the brackets, on the hinges, the tracks, and uh, different parts of the door, the cable drums. So we've measured this spring, and we will record the dimensions. So it's 29 and a quarter inches long, one and three quarter inch ID, and this spring is a left wind. Now it's time to measure the wound spring. Whenever you wind a spring, every time you go around, you add a coil of length to the length of the spring. Normally on a seven foot high door, you have about seven extra coils, seven and a half extra coils. On an eight foot high door, you have about eight and a half, nine coils. So on a seven foot high door, we count off eight coils on the spring and then measure from there to determine the length. So we start from here, one, two, 
three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for a seven foot high door. This is an eight foot high door, so we go another coil. So we marked off nine coils and have the tape measure between the ninth and the tenth coil. Then when I measure to the other end of the spring, I see that we have 29 and a quarter inches. So both of these springs have the same length. Now I'm going to measure to make sure that it has the same wire size. On about a third of the doors out there, you may have a, a 225 on one side, 218 on the other side. They're often unmatched. So you might want to make sure you measure both springs. And we do the same thing that we did before. And then you count 10 coils. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 2 and a quarter, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Four and a half. Four and a half is twice as much as 2 and a quarter. This tells me that I counted the coils correctly. This is also 225 wire. It's 29 inches long and it has the 175 over here on the cone. So I want to record this. And uh, this spring is right wind because it's on the left side. So we basically have the same spring, 29 and a quarter, 1 and 3 quarter, 0.225.